Uh, let me try and turn this lightsaber off. So, so, there you go. Hey everybody and welcome back to Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast. Hope you're all enjoying the walkthrough so far. If you haven't checked out any of the other episodes, please do. They're all part of the playlist on my channel. Um, but yeah, also if you could leave a like and hit that comment section below, it would help a great deal. Basically though, just thank you for checking out the, my, you know, the video, the content, and so on. Now then, moving on with what I'm positive will be the first attempt of many. First attempt of many. Wait, that's not right. Take him down. Did I not save? Did I not save near the platform again? Because I've done that in the past. In the past episode, actually. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I did. Bugger. All right. this again. Yeah, it's all that like green shot thing. It looks like the thing is stuff you fire from a bowcaster and it just like kills me in one hit. Take him down. God, this is just this is just something else. Ah, <laughs> uh, I get that. Uh, yeah, literally just like getting defeated now by this thing. Getting defeated physically and Take mentally. Him down. Cause you can't really go out there, cause you know it's like one shot, one kill. So, yeah.
Alright. Alright, so unlike last time, I'm going to remember to save here. hundred percent sure what I'm supposed to do exactly. Like, do I jump over to the next platform? If so, how? Because I don't seem to be able to make it most of the time. I could jump on those, I suppose. I have, I have a ra rough idea of what I'm supposed to do. Like, I, I don't know how you're supposed to... Like, obviously it's doable. People have completed the game. Or so I believe. That being said, this was made for, like, a keyboard and mouse. And I suppose it's a bit easier to, like, aim with a keyboard and mouse. Like, by comparison, joysticks are a bit slower. I suppose I could, when they're bl busy blowing up the platform, jump to another one and, uh... What? I don't have any long-range guns. Oh, that's just a kick in the gonads. Uh, how am I supposed to do this without long-range guns? Weirdly, this has a scope on it, this gun. But... I can't use it. Of all the weirdness in this game. That's the thing that probably freaks me out the most. Well, annoys me the most, but freaks me out. Why did I use all the... the ah, actually, no, I, I know why I had to use it, because I had to take out that bloody droid, but, you know. Alright, that was okay. I was actually making progress then. Doesn't seem like they, they, they ran out to attack me if I didn't use the platform. So. I guess I just won't use the platform then. Or at the very least, it definitely felt like I was. I got further. Huh? 
All right. Save. <laughs> just, just before I do anything else, save. Do I go up? I assume I go up instead of down. That sounds logical. It could just very well be bullshit that I just come up with. I'm like, yeah, it's up, up is the way. Doesn't go anywhere. That none of these guys have a security key. Like, none of them. I killed a bunch of officers. <sighs> okay, so down, I suppose, is the way to go. Save game. Because I'm going to be going up against a Jedi, and we all know how a uh, dark Jedi, we all know how that went last time. Hey, everybody. Um, yeah, so this will be like a, a weird kind of cut, I think, in the video. Basically, uh, the game crashed in. Like, when I was playing it, I was fighting that I got killed by the dark Jedi. I was meant to sort of like respawn, but the, the game crashed. And for some reason, the save game I made when I was down there just before I fought the Dark Jedi was corrupted or something. Because it, it's, it's there, but every time I try and load it up, it'll just stop me. So, yeah, I've had to start from the earlier save. It's offline. Ah, of course, I have to go upstairs. So yeah, this might oh god. So this might be a longer video than usual. Well, I say longer video than usual, a regular video, because uh, a lot of the videos I've done for this walkthrough, hey, for this walkthrough, have been a bit longer than usual. Ah, 
and back down. Alright, now I'm gonna try and save. And see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't corrupt again. Okay, that was kind of a uh, decent looking lightsaber deal, actually. Alright, hopefully this works, doesn't crash on me. Yeah, it's, it's working. What? Look, we're going back up the uh, tower now. I mean, this truly is like the definition of taking the piss. But eh, like I said, I mean, like I've said in previous episodes, this is kind of how games were back then. Like, I mean, you you have to do a lot of. Like going around the block and doing stuff that'll ultimately take you back to um, where you were originally, you know? Like I, I have to start in the middle, go up to the top, then go back, back down to the very bottom and then back up to the very top now. No doubt there's a dark Jedi or something waiting for me. Ah, I'm surprised. Take him down. There we go. Ah. Hey, finished the level. I'm not gonna lie, my heart did stop briefly when I thought that perhaps the game had crashed again. And I was like, oh god, no! I haven't saved in a while, I don't want to go through all that crap again. What kind of technology is this? I have the high ground, bitches. Oh god. Oh wait, aren't these like, um, I remember reading about these in, I think it was Dark Forces. There's like robots that can use lightsabers. I think they're robots. They look like robots. What 
kind of technology is this? in Jedi Academy but then again the difference is in Jedi Academy halfway through the game you do get an option of choosing a different lightsaber that was the best that's the, that's the benefit in that game what kind of technology is this like halfway through the game you can either choose to stay with a single lightsaber a dual lightsaber or a twin bladed lightsaber Darth Maul style <laughs> These guys are going to be a challenge. Okay, that'll come in handy. I wonder if that'll help. is this only because I don't have to hear him say that again Bitch. That armor seems to resist my lightsaber. I think I can guess how they're using the cortosis. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Okay, so maybe they aren't robots. But I'm sure they were robots that could use the force in uh in Dark Forces, in Dark Forces 2. Then again, those games also use live action cutscenes, so. It really was a different era. This is an 
alarm control. I don't want anyone to be this way. Alright, that has to be game over, yeah? They have, like... They, they found me. Yeah, there you go. Game over. Wow, that's grim. Okay, let's try again. Ah, oh, I didn't save after, did I? I have to fight those things again. I can't believe I forgot that. I should really have saved the moment it said, you know what, you're gonna have to use stealth in this next section. And I was like, uh, really? I mean, I should just let. I should just get some distance between us. Like, open. Like, let the droids just. Like, the um, turrets just open up on them and just get some distance. Alright, I'll call I'll call it an end of this video and like 
you know, tap out when um, I defeat these two guys. And then I'll call it a day. I'll try to, anyway. Hey! I'll open the door. I'll get to the little stealth section and then I'll call it a day. Ah, there's too many of them. I'll never get through this using firepower. Stealth may be a wiser choice here. I fired the gun. What have I done? Uh, I'll wait. I'll wait two minutes. Don't think anyone heard me, but I did get pretty far the last time round before they raised the alarm. All right, that seemed pretty safe. Anyway, this is this haphazard episode has uh, been quite fun. Hope you've all enjoyed as much as I have. Uh, if you could leave a like and hit that comment section below, it would be greatly appreciated and would help a lot. As for now, though, that's pretty much it. So until the next episode, you take care.